Nice, the starry flounder. This is a left eye. Their eyes can be on either side of their head. Pretty cool fish. Got these really rough scales. I didn't get this one on camera. Little white spotted greenling. There's a big museum right here. I think it's closed right now because of COVID. I'd like to go see it though. Nice, there we go. Oh, that's a nice, nice one. Another starry flounder. This one's also a left eye. Another starry flounder. Well, I guess I found the starry flounder spot. This one's got a weird horn sticking out of his skull. That's how you know I'm not catching the same one over and over again. Yes, there we go. Holy crap, another one. Another left eye. Well, I guess I found the spot for starry flounders. Something different. Uh, this is a rock sole. Pretty decent size. Oh, yeah, there we go. This one's a bit thicker. Got a belly on him. Oh, that's a right eye. A right eye story flounder. See? The way you tell is you put the gill on the, the bottom. There's his gill. And then, uh, so it's on his right side. Or if you look at him from behind, it's on the right side where his eyes are. So here's the rig I'm using right now. I was drop shotting and uh, I lost the bottom half of this drop shot. So I just tied on a one ounce weight about a foot up from the, uh, the hook and this little two and a half inch, it's these 2.8 inch uh, gulp power baits. Got them for a dollar ninety-three. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice rockfish. Popped off though.
GoPro died. But I just got this little rock saw here. Not a bad one. Catch a seagull. Alright, look at that one. That one's huge. I make a nice male. He's a left eye. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Biggest one I've ever caught. Uh, I'm gonna get a measure on him. Alright. The uh, 21 and a half inches. I'm just gonna let him go. Hey. This seagull's like asking for it. Yeah, another rock sole. Another one. There you go. This one might be a good one. Nope. Another starry flounder. Right eye. Not a bad one.
Oh yeah. That's a good one. Nice, another. Oh, shoot. A good sized left eye. That'd make a good meal on its own. It's not as big as the biggest one, though. Yeah, this one's about 17 inches. Still, there's some pretty good meat on that one. Hello, friendo. This guy just won't leave me alone. Guess people must feed him. That actually might be something different. I don't know, looks like a rock sole, just a tiny one. Not gonna feed you, man. You shouldn't feed uh, seagulls. They're like homeless people. If you feed them, they're just gonna get more. And then they'll become dependent on people won't be able to rely on themselves. Holy crap, this one's an even bigger one. Come on, open up. It's plastic, you don't want to keep it. Ah. Oh yeah, look at them. He's a fat one. I don't have my scale with me, but he'd weigh a few pounds, that's for sure. This one's 18 inches. <laughs> Look at that stupid seagull trying to eat the plastic. Hey! Hey! Oh man! What a dumbass. It's just plastic. Alright, let this one go. Uh, look at the stupid seagull eating plastic. It's plastic. Well, I guess that's a pretty good endorsement of those Berkeley uh, baits. If birds are fighting over the plastic, they must they must think it's real. And these fish are loving it, so I'm convinced that's the first time I've used these baits, and they're pretty awesome. There's another one. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Damn it. He came off messing around with the camera. Nice little rock. 
bucks so okay well that's gonna do it for me uh, I gotta go pick up my wife right now um, but it was a pretty good day lots of action out here and uh, surprisingly a really good spot I never came to this spot before um, because they got all this construction and I wasn't quite sure about access and stuff. But I had dinner at the restaurant right here the other night and I scoped out the access. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty glad I did. It's a really good spot. Should come give it a try.